Okay everyone, Matt from Panda Garage here. Today I've got a little dilemma on my hands. Now, um, as I might have mentioned lately, there has been some issues with my car in terms of like cars not running quite right and I've always felt like the battery was about to go, yet it always says it's right. But it seems like lately the issue has been um, getting worse and actually when I'd go to start my car, if I let the lights on for a little while, if I've left the door open for a little while, the battery goes completely dead. So I'm so glad I've got my jump pack, but this has got to stop. So today, while that is being repaired, I'm going to raid it of its battery, which is pretty new, it's only a couple months old, put it in my car and see if that makes a difference in terms of it running um, and its charge and hopefully that sorts out my issue. So join me today as we switch out the battery from the Commodore to Maryland. Okay, so first I've got to disconnect the battery from my car and then we'll get on to grabbing the other one. So we'll get this off first, and then we'll uh, sort that one out. But basically all it's holding it in is just there's a screw here, and that one will be not a 13 mil. Just locks on straight there. That holds basically the whole battery down, then we'll just connect the battery. We'll get the Commodore battery out. So I'll speed this up a little um, and make it less uh, time consuming and me just rambling. So get on with it. Information. As you can see there, the water battery level okay. As you can see, it is green. Doesn't say recharge, doesn't say anything. And it's very, very frustrating because I don't know why this battery is dying out. But then again, they say. Um, you should replace your batteries every like two to three years. So I've had this car now I think four or five never had to replace the battery So we're probably due but um, for now we're just going to raid it out of the uh, Commodore because it's uh, not going far anytime soon So there you go one Repco high-performance battery removed out of the car. So We're going to grab the new one out just out of the Commodore back there and uh, we'll chuck it in and see how this car works. Ooh, this car's still dusty. This is all from the uh, prep work for the bonnet spray. Oh, the bonnet spray, the bumper spray. So, there it is. That is a freshie. He's saying, see your detailer right now. See your dealer, sorry. So, red. No bueno at the moment. So um, hopefully this battery just needs a bit of a, a kick over. Um, basically it's the same process getting it out, except for this time, Holden thought it'd be a good idea. I don't know if you can see, the bolt down the bottom there. It's just a tiny little clip that sort of holds this whole contraption in. Um, same, same pattern, so I think it's still a 13 mil. You just need like a long extension and a socket instead so and it's a uh, 12 a 10 i think 10 mil screws on both sides so 10 mil on this side 10 mil on that side and 13 down there so i'm going to remove this and uh, when we come back we will uh have it ready to go in maryland it's out now we can get on with it so essentially what we're going to do now chuck it back in Hopefully it's got enough charge, otherwise I'll have to use the jump pack. Um, yeah, I had a few instances with the other car. It's actually got this weird wiring I'll show you right now. So basically, I'll turn it right here. It's connected in there. I'm not actually sure where it goes or what it does, but there's like a wire here and there's a wire there. Now, I don't believe this car has anything extra in it. Um, it just doesn't sort of carry anything like that. So not too sure if it was maybe in the past it's had a lot extra lights on it or something like that but um yeah not too sure so we've got one there one here yeah i guess we'll uh have to ch check out the plates maybe something was added factory but i don't believe so because it's um it looks like it's been pretty ratchet so oh, we'll 
go on with uh, installing the battery. Uh, this is just the install and reverse now. <laughs> So we've got that sorted. So basically now I'm going to jump in the car and see if it starts. So I'll leave you guys here and hopefully we don't have a fail. We actually have a bit of a win here. So I'll leave you here and you can check it out. Okay, so it was a little bit uh, sketchy there at the start. It has not been started for a fair few days, so um, hopefully that sorts all that out, which is will be really good. Try and get some better lighting here. Yeah, so basically, um, hopefully that fixes my problem for a while. I know my engine's loud, as everyone keeps mentioning. I know that the lifters or the rockers or something um, needs to be fixed, so I'm gonna be doing that soon as we've sort of settled in completely and uh, all the new changes in our lives are uh, sorted out. So. Um, I feel like that's a pretty successful uh, successful time there. I know it's only a battery change, but it's a um, big difference for me, and I hope my car runs a little bit better because I feel like it's not been charging the battery properly. So thank you all so much for watching. Remember to check us out on Facebook and Instagram under The Panda Garage. Remember to like and subscribe as well, guys. Um, I'm trying to get as many videos as out as I can now, more to a schedule. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, really like join, uh, subscribe. It's um, it's a really fun ride at the moment, and we're up to past two hundred now, which is really cool. Uh, and um, yeah, and just enjoy enjoy the videos coming out, and also leave comments down below for what you would like to see. If you've got an issue with a car, or if you'd like to see something in particular with a Commodore, with a Vectra, or with a, a Holden Cruise or Chevrolet Cruise in that instance, even a Jeep Compass, we've got one of those in the family. So, um, leave it down below or direct message me on on, um, on Instagram uh, or on Facebook. You can also just leave comments in there as well or just down below um, in the YouTube comment section, which is the nastiest place on earth. <laughs> but I'll, I'll pick out the good ones and I'll, uh, I'll we'll, we'll pick those ones out. So until next time, guys, my name's Matt. This has been Panda Garage. And hopefully, I'll see you guys next time.